Hey everybody, it's Annie Suter from Bay Club and I'm here with another interval strength workout. And for today's workout, we're going to do um, 40 minutes of something hard, 30 seconds of something harder, 20 seconds of something hardest for some of it. And then in a couple places, we're gonna do those descending ladders where you do moves and you start, we're gonna start today at 10 and then you're gonna take it down to one, um, repeating it each time. So today's workout I would say is a little more upper body focused, although there is some lower body. Um, a lot of it is shoulders. I do have some dedicated back work, um, but a lot of it is, uh, you know, focused on your shoulders, but other muscles will be used too. And a lot of the leg work is um, concentrated on the backs of your legs, especially glutes, but I will um, let you know how to change at least one of them to make it more quad focused. And um, this workout is designed for <laughs> something that I can handle between my two cardio segments. So if you're wondering why I'm picking these things, it's because um, it's kind of what I need at this point. So. Strength workout. Um, we are going to use dumbbells. I'm going to use all the varieties that I have from light to heavy. So whatever you've got. I'm going to use my coffee table as a bench. Um, I've got a mat, um, not only on there, but I've got I've got my other mat too, but just one that you, for both comfort and utility. And um, a band, if you have it, would be really great today. All right, you ready to get started? Let's go. Um, put on some music. Rod, we're gonna warm up today. We're just gonna start to warm up this upper body. So we're gonna twist and twist here. Got my arms out in front, nice stable on the legs, maybe bend your knees a little. Start to warm up all those places we're gonna use today. A couple more like this, and then we're gonna fold forward. Here we go. Fold forward. If you're ready to take your arms a little wider. Four, three. Two, take it back up right here. Oh, hit the painting. Four more like this. Four, three, two. Let's take this overhead this way. Take your time. One more of those. All right, keep those arms up. We're gonna go down slow and come back up. This is a wide leg squat. You've got your toes turned out. We're gonna use this today if you choose to go wide. Give me three pulses at the bottom. Go three, two, one, and again. Two more times. Last one. All right, take it narrow here. I'm gonna come down and come about hip width apart. Yeah, like right there. Come down. Back up. Get as low as you can, right? Low might look different now than it does later. One more like this. All right, that three pulses, so again, three, two, one. All right, right here we're gonna lean over, right? Flat back, bring it back up, again. One more of these. All right, hold on just a second. I'm gonna turn down that a little. I um, didn't charge my microphone, so I hope you can hear me. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down the music just in case. All right, we're gonna come down on the floor. We're gonna get into a hand plank, right? Right here. And I want you to reach each side, rotate, come down. Couple more. All right, come on down on your knees. We're gonna come down into a push 
up, come up, and take a little reach. Absolutely use your mat if you need it. Down. Again. Okay, stop right there. Let's do a little mountain climb here. work on this. Lean back. As far as you go. Bring it back up. Just feel that on your quads, yeah? Right there. Do two more. Alright, back to those kneeling hip thrusts. Give me a few more of these. Big squeeze right here. Eight more counts. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right. We warm? As warm as we're going to get? All right. We're going to start with a hip thrust. So I'm going to put my back on the, the bench, right? At armpit level, I'm gonna load up my hips. So the heaviest combination that I seem to have are two of my heavier dumbbells. So the loaded backpack, the weighted backpack is a good choice. I don't know if you have a barbell, go for it. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, I'm gonna put the band on, and once you come up, we're gonna abduct three times. We're gonna go three, two, one. And that'll be our 40 second move. For the 30 seconds, we're gonna rep it out just one after the other, hip thrust, hip thrust. And for the last 20 second move, we're gonna hold it up and abduct the whole time. All right, and loaded the whole time if you can. All right, so I'm talking to you now in case you can't hear me when I'm over there, I'm not sure. It's so weird not to have it, but it's very freeing. I don't have like all this stuff strapped to me. I'm take a sip of water. Okay. So as far as my band, I have my kind of big band. Any band will do. You can double up on bands. All right, let me get my timer all set. Okay. And make sure it's loud enough. 
Okay. So I'm gonna put these right kind of like, well, I mean, as if there's a comfortable place, there's really not, but the most comfortable place you can find on your hips. I'm just gonna hold them with my hands. All right, 40 seconds, three abductions at the top. One, two, three. All right, so I'm gonna have to get up after I press the timer, but you get up now, so you get the full benefit of the full time. I'm gonna put one of these on. Okay, here we go. All right, armpit level. Look out in front of you, here we go. Up, three, two, one. Looking out kind of at the wall in front of me. Holding on to these dumbbells. Ooh. Squeeze. If you don't have the band, do the same moves. Do this abduction without it. Finish this one out. All right, the next one we're gonna do is just reps. Down and up, no abductions at the top. I'm kind of staying in this position because if I get down, it's hard to get back up. All right, five, ready, coming. Big squeeze. I feel it, I feel it. Last one, we're gonna hold it up and just abduct. Just bring the, the legs in and out. Little movement, but that squeeze stays. You ready? All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna spread my legs a little bit further apart. Keep that crunch position. Squeeze, squeeze. Under 10 seconds. One more time. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Same thing. Let's go a little closer. So get same thing. One more time. Ah, I feel it. I feel it. You ready? Okay. Come on down. All right. I'm gonna press it and get up. You get up now. All right, three, two, three abductions, right? And come down. No abductions on this one. Woo. Breathe. We really jumped right into the deep end of the pool here, didn't we? <laughs> All right, here we go.
my goodness. 10. when you do glute work, you can probably still feel it in your quads, right? It's not just glute work. You do get everything else combined with it, right? You get some hamstring work and you get some quad work. So don't worry about leaving your other body parts out of it. They are worked during something like that. I'm sure you can feel it at this point. All right, we've got our first ladder here, our first one. We're gonna do a walking plank, down, down, up, up, yeah? And every time you go, you're gonna switch arms. Now for me, I think I'm gonna switch it every time I start the walking plank. So even though it might not be exactly even, it's gonna be easier for me to keep track of, right? And then the next time I'll start down on the side. If you wanna change every time, that's fine too. We're gonna follow that with, what am I following it with? Oh yeah, a full sit up, a full sit up. So it's gonna be on the mat, down, down, up, up for 10. Right, so 10 times down on this arm, right? And then that counts as one, two, right? Then you're gonna flip over and sit up, full sit up for 10, or crunch for 10 if that doesn't work for you. All right, we're gonna go from 10 to one, right, to zero, we're gonna go down. So the walking arm plank will be most of the time, the crunch won't take you as long, it'll just give you a break from the plank. All right, I'm gonna push this all the way a little. Bring my mat out. So for my full sit up, I am going to use a dumbbell, right? So I'm gonna sit up with a dumbbell. I'm gonna pick something kind of medium for me. All right. Okay. So we're all gonna be at our own pace here. Pause me if I um, have gone too fast for you or fast forward if I'm going too slow. All right, 10. You ready? All right, and we're gonna do 10 sit-ups and then we go nine and nine and eight and eight and seven, etc. Okay, here we go. There's one. modification, right? On your knees, right? When you need to here. All right, here we go. Let's start with the other one. Okay. Two. You starting to feel the build? You realizing we're in really big trouble? Yeah. Nine sit up.
Okay. Seven. Alright, next round I'm gonna go down in my dumbbell so Do that. Alright, let's go. Woo! Come on, six, how you doing? All oh, the sit-ups are slow. They're slow. Three. Ooh. So one of my arms, one of my shoulders is burning more than the other, so I'm going to lead with this arm a couple times in a row.
You sweaty? I'm sweaty. Tired, need water. <laughs> okay. Burns, especially in my one shoulder, I don't know why. <clears throat> okay. Let's go for our next thing. Alright, this is going to be very similar to the hip thrust we did in the 40, 30, 20, except you're going to do a squat. Now, I'm going to do a wide leg squat because I'm trying to get my backside. If you are more concerned about your quads, right, you are going to do a narrow squat. So just like we did in the warm up, right, the closer your knees are together, the more it's going to focus on the front of your leg, the further they are apart, the more it should go on the back. So I need backside work, I'm going wide. And we're gonna do a similar rep pattern too. We're gonna to do three pulses at the bottom um, for the 40 seconds. We're gonna rep it out for the 30 seconds. And the 20 seconds, we're gonna hold it down and I'm going to stomp my feet. And if you are in the narrow squat, do the same thing except march your feet in the center. Just a tiny little pickup, especially if you're in that narrow squat because you don't wanna stand up out of it. You wanna stay low in it. Um, I'm gonna use dumbbells for this, and um, you can use them as, as far into the sequence as you can. If you need to drop it for those, those walks at the end or the stomps, um, feel free. All right, let's see, what am I gonna use? Um, I'll start really heavy and see, and I'll have my, my ditch out weights, right, in case I can't take it. All right. All righty, so I'm gonna go with my heaviest set that I actually have. All right, let's get this timer on. Down in three pulses, either in a narrow leg or a wide leg. All right, you ready? Let's go. All right. So obviously, if you're in a narrow squat, right, you're gonna want your dumbbells to the outside like this, right? Oh, already I feel that in my quads. No, thank you. <laughs> Keep your upper body relatively high, right? Roll those shoulders back. Kind of look up at me, maybe. Ugh. All right, so the next one we're just gonna do reps, right? Down and up, straight down and up. I'm gonna stand here for a second in this position. I should have put down the dumbbells, but now it's like it's kind of too late. You know what I mean? All right. Get into it. Reps. Here we go. I'm going to do a little boot squeeze at the top of mine. Got about 12 seconds left. <laughs> You can certainly do a single, right? Instead of having two. I'm gonna go down in that wide leg. I'm just gonna pick up my feet a little bit. Here. In fact, I might even take these up. There we go. About five seconds. Uh, just a tiny little pickup. into the ground. Alright, look at these 
down this time. We're gonna rep it out. Breathe through it, breathe through it. Got five more seconds of rest, breathe. All right, ready? shoulders. We're going to go upright row for 10 to uh, overhead press for 10. So, you know, you'll probably end up with something pretty light. Your shoulders are already kind of beat up, so don't worry if it's not your normal weight factor on this. All right. 10 and 10. We go down to zero. All right. Let's see. I'm not going to be too ambitious here. Let me You love the discussions that you have with yourself over what weight to use. All right. Ready? There's no timer. I was about to put on a timer. All right. Here we go. Ten. Seven. Certainly go neutral grip. Go two, three, four. Ooh, maybe one more round with this weight. It might have to go down. All right, nine. Before I go into seven, I'm going to take a couple breaths. Remember, these two moves are both the same muscle group. So they're going to fatigue really fast. Breathe in between. It's okay. They're certainly burning my whole that cap of the shoulder into my biceps and triceps. Thank <laughs> you. 
body's safe to take a little break. Ooh, I'm gonna be on five. How are you doing? I'm gonna check to see what's next. Yeah. All right. There we go. We've got some back work. So we're gonna do some single arm rows, right? So I'm gonna brace myself, probably on the floor is what I'm guessing. If you have something nice and low, coffee table, chair, something like that. Single arm row, we're gonna pull it, you're gonna go pretty heavy. Um, then we're gonna go into a face pull or, a, or an upper back row, right? So depending on what you have, you're either gonna lean over a little bit and you're gonna pull your elbows high so that it gets the upper back. Um, or you're gonna face pull, you can stand up straight and pull something lighter without the hinge. Um, that would be fine. And then for our um, final one, we're gonna back fly. So we're gonna come over and back fly. So you may need different um, weights for different things, just kind of depends. Um, I'm wondering if I can, I think I can high row with the small dumbbells. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But you're gonna start with that single arm row. So I'm gonna come down on my knees. You do want to brace yourself on something, right? You don't have to come all the way down, but I'm gonna come down on like a leg, a knee, a foot, a knee, and a hand, and pull with one side, and then we'll do the other side. All right, I'm gonna try this out with this one. <laughs> yeah, I think I can do that. All right, 40 seconds of that. I've got a leg out like so. You can always just be in a this position, that's fine. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, let's do this. My phone like goes to a lock screen every time. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put my a little higher. There we go. So focus just on that one arm. Think about your back. You wanna move that shoulder blade. Pull your elbows high as you go. Go about halfway in. Three. All right, we're 
gonna do that whole thing again. We're gonna pull with the other arm. Yeah, my hip was off the whole time. Oh, I had a conversation with myself a couple days ago, you know. Last video I did, like I was having a lot of trouble with the push-ups. And I think finally, after this amount of time, I'm losing some of my upper body strength, you know. And uh, I can tell, because I uh, normally do power and I do, you know, probably more consistently upper body work in my boot camp classes. So it's happening for sure. You know, I guess I'm fortunate it took this this long to get there. All right, you ready? Uh, uh, okay, let's get down. Get yourself set up for the other side. All right, here we go. Should get some nice oblique action on this too. Eventually we're gonna have to consume this peanut butter. I'll have to find something else. All right, so I'm gonna go pretty fast because these are very light. And I'm giving them a really hard squeeze, right? A squeeze on the jars to add more tension, right? Right up along my jaw. Reach them all the way forward. Squeeze that upper back, right? Ah, squeeze, there, I feel it now. Oh. All right, back fly. Ah. You ready? Get yourself set. Three. Here we go. Oh. this one today. Alright, so let me clear my area a little. Get these out of the way. Alright, so um, how do I want to position myself for this? I'm going to turn a little bit angled. I know you can't see perfectly. But I do want a little extra room for my legs. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough if I'm like that. Okay, so we're going to start here. And first of all, I want you to straighten your legs. So when I put my legs up, they're bent like this, right? So straighten them out, even if they need a little assistance with your hand. And the first thing I want you to do is point and flex. And let's just get a little stretch in. All right. Hands behind your head. We're going to take one leg down and then the other leg down. So we're going to start just like this. Warm it up down there. Couple more of these. All right, I'm gonna park my hands underneath my glutes, right? Throw a little support, and we're gonna double leg drop. Get those lower abs working. You just go to your height, right? So if you start to feel back tension, just stop it short, right? And do the range of motion that you've got. Let's do a couple more. All right, something similar to this. We're gonna come here, and I'm gonna put my hands back above my head for now. I'm gonna come like this, I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna push my knees out away from me so I'm not like hugging them in. They're lined up above my hips. 
And let's start with a single like heel tap on the ground. And you should feel that very low in your abdomen, right? Very low abs. All right, should we try that double leg? And then you can do the same thing with your hands if it helps you, if that feels better, right? Keep going. A couple more. Do one more. All right. From here, we're going to do like a little reverse crunch. So I'm going to bring it in and then I'm gonna tap it down. So just a tiny little lift off the ground here, just a little bit, not too much momentum. Squeeze everything you got. Do a couple more of these. up and we're going to windmill them side to side, right? So I'm going to put my hands underneath again. Legs up and I'm going to bring them down to one side and up. Now with my hands underneath my glutes, they're going out at an angle and that's fine. If you want to take your hands above your head, you might be able to get a little less angle. I'm like half on the carpet and half on the floor so I keep rolling to the side. This actually evens it out for me. Ugh. fingertips above, kind of press everything down into the ground, make yourself really flat here. Alright, we're going to do a sit up, we're going to grab um, beneath the shoe, so you're going to kind of shoot up and then you're going to grab just like that, hands above your head, shoot up and grab the other foot. Now if you want a little more, take those legs straight and come all the way up like this. Let's do four more. Two more for me. All right. Point to toes, stretch your fingertips. And let's do a stretch across here with your shoulder. Over here, grab. I'm just kind of doing that lean that we would do standing. I'm doing it on the ground. I'm giving my shoulder a nice pull. I'm going to take my elbow down. I'm going to bring it back up. Same thing on the other side. Cross. Over. Up on top. Bring it down, bring it over. All right, let's flip over to tabletop. Move my mat back here. All right, so come here, let's cat and cow for a second. crunch this way. You're going to pull it down and then bring it. So think about like a crunch as if you were lying on your back and you're bringing both of your knees and your head together. It's that same type of idea, but we're going to do it standing, right? You're going to curl over and bring it up. And you should feel it right here, like belly button level. Yeah? Let's go another set. So 
over here, uh, we're gonna go into like a pigeon situation, right? But because we did some glute work. So you're gonna come like this, with your leg up in front. You're gonna take this back leg, right? And you're gonna come here and then you're gonna shoot it through the front and then push it out the back and sit up. Push it out the front and then shoot it out the back. the other side, same thing. Ah, this side is much less tight. I'm going to go back to the other side. If you have a tight side, stay on that side longer. I'm going to stay on this side. Ah, that's much better the second time through. Ah. All right, so if you don't have a tight side, go back to your other side now. I'm gonna stay on here for a little bit. Ah. You can see how much more relaxed my legs are this time, right? My knees, both sides are lower to the ground. I'm just gonna give the other side a little bit more love. Not too much, so it's a bit too loose compared to that other side. Ugh. All right, have my knees in. Roll out my back. I'm gonna push my hands into my knees, open up my back here. All right, let's stand all the way up. Do a little quad stretch. Ooh. Two deep breaths coming. <sighs> One more time. Ooh. Shoulders and back of the legs is what I feel. <laughs> I will charge my microphone next time. I hope it wasn't too bad. Have a good day.